Hey guys, Master Ningen here bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video and as you can see from the title today we are talking about the hype for the upcoming Trunks and Zamasu banners which at the time this video goes up the banners should be dropping in about 12 hours time. Um, there's been a lot of discussion in the lead up to these banners. Um, a lot of people have been saving for them for quite a while. Uh, it's been a bit of a meme in the road up until these banners that people have been saying and commenting that they're saving for Trunks and Zamasu. Um, but of course, a wrench kind of got thrown into the proceedings with the 300 million download celebration. Um, I've only got this page up here, you can see the date. So, Gohan and Cell and their banners came out on the 29th of August 2019. So, about a month and a half ago. And here we are ready for the next Jewel Dokkan Fest. So one of the big things is everybody who is on Global pretty much follows what happens on JP. And that allows us to plan for the future, what we want to save our stones for. And so the Trunks and Zamasu banners have been the biggest hype thing that we've been waiting for for a long time. Um, it was the first time ever from when they first dropped that Gogeta and Broly had come back on a banner. Um, I'm pretty sure Ink Goku Black hadn't been around for a while. Turles was of course a unit that hasn't made an appearance that many times. Um, and then on the Trunks banner, not as much. Future Gohan hasn't been around as many times but he's not as hyper unit. And then Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta has been on a fair few banners recently, what with the say and day and things like that but both very strong banners with very good units the new trunks and zamasu obviously very good and then gogeta and broly two of the top tier units in the game as well so then the 300 million download celebration came along uh, on both versions at the same time so obviously on jp the trunks and zamasu banners were long gone and then we have a look here so not only did we have the new gohan who is fantastic one of the best units in the game probably the second or third best unit on global depending on where you put him in your personal tier list um, the new 16 was obviously pretty decent as well um, and then we had transforming vegeta who hadn't been around for a while uh, gogeta made his first return on global on this banner um, and then we got transforming goku who'd been on a ton of banners lately but also mvp 17 who's very very good and uh, i'd actually completely forgotten super saiyan 3 bardock was on there he hasn't been around a ton but he is a very underrated unit and obviously is the leader of the Super Saiyan 3 team, so very good unit as well. And then Cell's banner, we had Cell, obviously fantastic, not as good as Gohan, but very, very good unit. The Cell Jr. is very good as well, so of course Broly as the counterpart to Gogeta. And then we had Ink Goku Black, uh, who I don't know if it was the first time he'd been back since his original banner on Global, but he definitely hadn't been around for a while. Same with Transforming Super Boo. Um, and then Freezer has been around a fair bit recently as well. But So, three units on here that hadn't been around for quite a while. I know personally, I skipped both Int Goku Black and STR Super Boo's banners. Just because both those units were not super hype. And we were obviously, again, like we always are for Global, saving for something else in the future. So, when these banners dropped... Um, I did, although I personally didn't pull the cell, I pulled my first two copies of Ink Goku Black and three copies of Super Boo. Um, and I was, you know, I was just assuming oh, I'll just get Ink Goku Black when the Zamasu banner comes out. And so now I have him already with one dupe. Um, and I, unfortunately for me, I didn't pull any of the Broly's. But on the Gohan banner, I did get lucky enough to pull the Gohan. But I think I pulled three three copies of Gogeta so I rainbowed Gogeta off of this banner so for me part of the hype of the Trunks banner has now turned into one of those annoying situations where now when I summon on this banner I do not want to see this unit pop up because I have no use for him now um, in fact for the Trunks banner the only unit I actually need is Trunks and technically I need future Gohan because I've actually never pulled him but He's not a very good unit. He's definitely at the bottom of the tier list for uh, Dokkan Fest exclusives. Not necessarily the very bottom, but he's right down there. Um, and I think I might need one copy of Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta. But yeah, so that makes this banner a little bit more dangerous for me. Now, the Zamasu banner, like I said, I didn't pull any extra copies of Broly, so I do still need dupes for him. 
um, and then Ink Goku Black I only pulled the two copies of him so I could use dupes for him but uh, despite you guys will know if you're not new to the channel my uh, shaft during the four year for the actual Super Saiyan 4s I did Rainbow Turles off of Vegeta's banner so he is another unit that I now do not need off of this banner so that's what that's kind of the big thing about this video and the thing that people have been discussing is the hype for these banners was at like insane levels like as soon as they dropped on JP like I said that was kind of the meme that everyone on global was just saving for these banners now because they were so good um, all the units are pretty decent like obviously we know we well I say we know it's like 90% at this point be based on the way they're doing the 70% leaders but this trunks and this physical Vegito blue and then this Merge Zamasu and the AGL Rosé, they will probably be next in line to get easy A's once all of the 70% leaders have been done. So even if you already have these units rainbow, if you pull a copy or two of these, you can keep these safe in your box. Um, and Merge Zamasu has a farmable super attack as well. I think, I think Trunks does as well. I mean, you can get a second copy farmed up to Super Attack 5 ready for when they get their easy A. So they're not necessarily a dead pull if you pull either of these, uh, despite having them rainbow. But then, of course, for us global players, the 300 million download celebration banners came along. And um, I think we talked about it a little bit at the time when the banners came out. But even if you'd been in that mindset that you were saving for Trunks and Zamasu, you kind of you couldn't not summon on these banners. Like, the first return of Gogeta, MVP 17, Transforming Vegeta is amazing, and obviously Gohan is ridiculously good. I mean, we've seen from the videos that I've done and that other people have done on the Legendary Goku event that he makes that event a complete joke. He's like taking double digits from super attacks by the time you get to the end of the event. So he is ridiculous. And then Cell, whilst not as ridiculous as Gohan, he is actually very good. The Cell Juniors are also very good. And then Goku Black and Super Buu, they do kind of get the short end of the stick, but they're not terrible units. I would say both of them are better than physical future Gohan. Um, so when these banners dropped, I think a lot of people, I would say most, but I guess I don't know that for sure. But a lot of people that were saving for Trunks and Tomasu probably dropped most, if not all, of their stones on this banner. So I feel like these banners came out with such a high level of hype that they definitely damaged... Um, the hype going into the Trunks and Zamasu banners. So one thing I wanted to sort of address a little bit for the end part here is the fact that could we see these banners change? Now anniversary banners in the history of the game have never changed um, which is kind of understandable. They always have like a set theme um, whereas dual Dokon Fests and some of the Dokon Fest exclusives have changed in the past. Um, and I'm talking about when the banner came out on JP first, because there's been a couple of instances recently where we actually got a unit slightly before JP and then their banner was slightly different. But in terms of global following the JP timeline, there's been a few changes. Uh, Tech Super Saiyan 3 Broly is a big one I remember. I don't think the hype for him was as much as they would have liked on JP. So they added Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta to his banner, which was definitely a factor for me going into that banner to do some extra summons because I still didn't have him at the point that he released. So I was trying to think about could they change these banners at all in any way to try and increase that hype level. Now obviously it comes down to personal preference because for me the extreme banner is a lot better than the super banner. So this one is a lot harder but if we look at the super banner I don't think they will drop Gogeta and Broly. Um, they could because they've been on a banner so recently, but I think there probably are that subsection of people out there that managed to avoid summoning on Cell and Gohan because they wanted to summon for Trunks and Zamasu more would be very disappointed that Gohan, uh, that Gogeta and Broly were taken off of these banners. But I think they could quite easily drop Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta. He doesn't fit the like future theme. If you notice, like I get Gogeta doesn't either. But like I said, when this dropped on JP, it was the very first time he'd ever come back. But there's kind of a future theme to this banner that Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta doesn't really fit into. So they could drop him and then like I said they could drop Gogeta solely based on the fact that he's been on a banner recently. Um, but I tried to think of some units that haven't been around that could take their place. 
And unfortunately for super type units, really the only one that comes to mind is the Kid Goku. So he dropped on the 6th of June, a little bit before the four year anniversary. So a lot of people didn't summon for him because they were saving up for the four year and he came right before then. So I don't know many people who bothered to summon for him or if they did, they didn't go in particularly deep. So not many people actually got him. I only got the one copy of him and then stopped because we were saving for the four year. So for me personally, I think it would be very cool if they dropped um, Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta for um, Kid Goku. Obviously, for me, since I need one Vegeta and don't need any Gogetas, I would prefer them to drop Gogeta. But I kind of can't see that happening just because I, th I feel like he's one of the units on this banner that gives it a lot of hype for a lot of people. So I do think Gogeta and Broly will probably stay. But when we come to the Extreme banner... Uh, Turles has only ever been on Global twice, so I imagine he will probably stay. And then unfortunately, everybody else kind of fits into that future theme. Like, I don't see them dropping in Goku Black or STR Rose. Um, so in theory, they could drop Turles, or like I said, if they drop Broly and Gogeta, we could see Broly get dropped, but I don't think that's likely. Turles was on the four year banner, but he was on the four year banner for JP as well. So I don't know if he's recent enough for them to consider dropping him. And I know for a lot of people, that would be a real shame because he's one of the best support units in the game. If you don't have him rainbow, then you obviously are going to want more copies of him. Uh, it's only due to the fact that I don't need him that I would consider him worth dropping from the banner. But if we have a look at the possible alternatives, we have the tech hit who came out first on Global for Christmas last year and has never been back on a banner since. So we're almost at 11 months that he hasn't been available. So if you didn't pull him from his original banner, you haven't had a chance to pull him again, even right up until now. So for me personally, I would kind of like to see him added to the banner. I didn't pull him from his original banner at Christmas last year. So I haven't had a single opportunity to get him again. Um, he would obviously be added to the shop with the coins as well, so um, all of the units on this banner, apart from Trunks and Zamasu, it's not their first time being available, so they would all be purchasable from the coin shop. Um, and then of course we also have the Metal Cooler, so this is something I was discussing with a friend last night, is Metal Cooler came out, and then because Global, we got hit first, so then a little while later JP got hit, and Metal Cooler came back for the first time on his banner. So he's been on JP twice. Obviously now they've just gotten the STR Cooler and he's back on that banner. Which gives us a little bit of an insight into when we could next see him again. But that banner is going to be months away for Global. But for Global he's only ever been on his original banner which was the 3rd of April. So again we are looking at almost six months or over six months at this point since he's been available on a banner on global so it'll be kind of cool to see him added into the mix as well so there you go that is uh that is what we're expecting to see if we do follow exactly what happened on jp like i said the banners should be live in about 12 hours time um i will probably stream some summons i don't really know which one to even start on but considering jp uh didn't get the discounts global will probably have at least the first set of three plus one at a discounted price and then of course we are getting tickets as well so i do think it's worth even if you only really want one of the two units i think it's probably worth doing the discounted three plus one cycle on both banners just to see because hey you never know, you could get insanely lucky on that first cycle and then be done on that banner. So, But like I said, a lot of this comes down to personal preference. There are going to be people out there that need every single unit on both banners and so are probably still as hyped as they were before the 300 mil. And then I'm sure there are people, I know people in some of the groups that I'm in that are bigger whales that literally only need Trunks and Zamasu. So for them, the banners are nowhere near as hype because, you know, out of all these featured units, you're only trying to pull one, which if you've ever been in that situation before, <laughs> there's nothing like getting uh, multiple guaranteed featured unit summon animations just to get more copies of units that you don't need. So I'll be interested to know in the comments down below. Let me know, has the 
hype for this banner increased or decreased for you based on all of these things that have happened over the last few months are you still super excited to go in for them they're both fantastic units trunks definitely better than zamasu so i think he's probably the one i'm going to go for the most and as long as i can pull him if i don't pull zamasu i won't be too bothered but they are both definitely very good units so let me know what your plans are down below so that is going to be it for the video guys this has been the master ningen smash that like button subscribe to the channel if you are new you can follow me on twitch or join my discord the link is in the description below and i will see you all again soon have a good one